Hi, and welcome back to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, your senior trainer and support here at Digital Drafting Systems. In today's topic, we will be explaining how to use the recover command, recover with XREF, audit, and purge. These topics are all related, for they deal with the health of your files, and it is advised to do any or all of them on a regular basis. Let's begin. As you can see here on the left side of the monitor, we see the drawing recovery manager that is the actual preferred way, but not the only way to actually invoke a recover. This particular drawing recovery manager only appears when your software has crashed and still had a drawing opened. The only other situation where this happens to appear is when you uh, actually shut down your computer or the lights go out. That doesn't necessarily mean a crash, it just means a loss of power. And so what happens is the system thinks that it needs to recover whatever those particular files that were open at the time. Whether you saved them or not, it doesn't matter. If they were open, this is what would appear. Now, the things that you can do with this particular dialog here is, as you can see, it's actually reporting to you the name of the main file and its backup. If you select any one of them, and right click on it okay you'll see you can have the open which that is actually what actually invokes the recover or you can go to the properties now as you can see this properties looks very much like a windows properties and the one advantage that i like about this is the fact that you can actually rename the file now rename the file here doesn't mean that it's going to change here it just means that the file itself in in its location will be renamed that means that if, for example, you want to go ahead and uh, recover this one, or this one is unrecoverable, you can always go to the back. And if you do that, you can select it, right click on it, go to properties, and then change the extension file. Okay, so it will go ahead and become a drawing. That would mean that you would have to actually rename this one first, otherwise it would tell you that it couldn't do it because the particular file is already in use or already exists, or if you want to overwrite it. Okay, so those are the options that you have here in the Drawing Recovery Manager. Another place where you will find the Recover command and, and also the Drawing Recovery Manager uh, command would be here in the upper left A of your software, down arrow, recover. And if you go there, you will see that you have a recover. This is a standard recover that only recovers the actual file. Doesn't touch the XREFs if there are, there are XREFs in there. And you have the ability to open up the recovery manager, which in this case is this one right here. It is already open. So what we will do in this particular case, we will allow it to now recover a file. So we'll go to here. We'll go to recover. We'll select the recover here. It gives us a dialog box. We happen to know that this is the ones that we're looking for, so we don't have to navigate. And let's go ahead and start a fire, uh, a Jim 6523 recover uh, on this item here. Let's go ahead and select it. Now say open. It will go through a few iterations and then it will automatically come back and give you an audit, no errors in recovery data. Okay, that is if there have been no errors. Okay, because audit in reality is also part of recover. We'll say okay here and the drawing becomes opened. Okay, so that is the recover. Now remember, as you can see here, let's go ahead and switch this over to a tree form. The Jim 6523 has a fire stairs that has already been XREFed into this drawing. What happens if we need to recover not only this one or this one? Because whatever the error might be doesn't necessarily mean that it's here in the host file. It could be in its source file, which is the fire stairs, the file that is actually externally referenced into my drawing. So let's see how that works. Now, let us remember that when we had this particular drawing closed, I'm going to say save changes, yes. But when we have that particular drawing closed and we went here to recover, we only saw recover. So the question really is, as we stated before, what happens when you have a drawing that has XREFs in it? How are you able to go ahead and 
open that particular drawing with a recover and make sure that the external references are also recovered. Well, for that, you need to have a file opened. So let's go ahead and open any one of them. Let's go ahead and open this special character session here that I was uh, playing with earlier. And let's go ahead and from here, let's go ahead and close this uh, external reference manager. And let's also go ahead and close the drawing recovery manager. Okay, and now we can go to this section in here, which is the A upper left, go down to the drawing utilities, and in the recover, you'll have recover with external references. Okay, what that does is it actually, uh, recover drawing, it actually goes ahead and opens up not only the host file and looks at it, does an audit and fixes whatever might be broken in there, but it also looks at the fire stairs. Sometimes these files have a, a huge amount of XRAFs, and which one of those is the damaged one, you don't know. So one of the safest ways to actually do this is actually to go ahead through this process right here, which is actually to open it with external references. So I'm going to select this one. This is the host file. We'll go ahead and say open to that. Okay, and this one you saw very instantaneously. It was very quick, and I'm sorry it was so quick because these drawings are very small, but you saw that it actually went ahead and opened up a little uh, progress bar that was telling you that it was actually looking at the actual um, external reference file. And in here, in this particular case, it will give you a report of what happened and what it found in this particular file. Okay, not only does it tell you the report on the file that is the host, which is this one, but it also tells you what it found in the actual file that is the actual source file, which is the externally referenced item, which is this one right here. Okay, and so with that, we see that we can uh, are able to go ahead and recover with external references and recover. Let's go ahead and sit close here. And you will notice that recover with external references does not open the file. It just recovers it, okay? You need to go ahead and open it and save it. That's the actual workflow for that, okay? Next, we are going to look at audit. Now, for audit, let's go ahead and close this particular file <clears throat> and go into one of our files, which is the uh, this one right here. Okay, and let's go back into the model space just because it's, uh, it's a little more uh, filling and we see a little bit more of what's going on here. Okay, and in this file, let's go ahead and do an audit by calling AUDI T and it will give you the, the actual controls or the actual options of the words that start with audit or AUDI or whatever it is. And we'll go ahead and select the audit. Okay, it will ask you if you want to fix any errors that it finds. What audit does is it actually looks at the data, sees what parts of the data might be going corrupt and fixes them. Or in some cases, if it's not fixable, it actually deletes it. So you gotta be a little bit careful about this, but if you keep it running constantly and you do it maybe once a week, the audit, it should be fine. So let's go ahead and say, yes, we would like you to go ahead and fix any errors that you find. Say yes, hit the enter key. And now if we hit F2, function two, it will tell you what it actually found within the audit command. As you can see, very, very simple, very direct, excellent for file health. Next, we will be looking at the purge. Continuing on this very same file, we will go ahead and type the word or the command rather, purge. If you type the first two or three letters, it will automatically give you a list of those items and then you can select from the list what you're looking for, which in this case is the very first one. And in this one, okay, you have the ability to go ahead and select all of them right here or deselect them, or you can open up and select specific ones if you know specifically what you want to actually purge out of your drawing. Since in this particular case, we have a lot of blocks. Not only do we have a lot of blocks, we have a lot of items here within the actual drawing. We're going to say that I wanted to purge everything in the drawing, okay? 
that is advisable because you never know what one of these files are going to go ahead and be corrupt. And the more special part that we actually want to cover with this is the fact that not only do, can you get rid of items that could be going bad or that are just excessive for your drawing, you just have way too many items, especially if they're not physically in the drawing. And that's what is actually deleting. It's deleting for example, just in the case of blocks, blocks that are held in data but not are, that are not physically in the drawing. You can insert them, but they don't exist in the drawing yet, and the drawing has become too heavy, okay? And in order to lighten it up, you do a purge, and that's what this is all about, okay? The other thing that I think that is extremely important in this particular case is the fact that we want to go ahead and make sure that all of these are checked on, okay? And the reason for that is because there are a lot of items, and one of the biggest culprits we've found that is the DGN type of uh, line types that don't exist physically. You can't even find them in the line style selector or loader. You can't find it there, okay? Because they're just in data. Then they're, they're nowhere else. And so you cannot go ahead and select them and you don't know their names or anything but this particular setup the way you have it here and i believe it the the one that really does the most um, um efficient work on it is this part here orphan data in other words data that doesn't have geometry okay associated to it it's just data that is there it it's just something that it, it's keeping hold of but it's nothing that it really physically as i always say exists within the drawing so it'll get rid of that Okay, I would advise it to purge all. You can, if you need anything that has <clears throat> been taken out of there accidentally, you can always get it from either your template or from another file using the design center. Uh, and for the design center usage, we suggest that you look at the blog that we already have in our files about design center. So once again, we go ahead and select it all. We want to purge anything that is unnecessary in the drawing. We'll go ahead and select the Purge all checked right here. Okay, and then we'll say purge all checked items. So we'll purge this item, which is a specific item if, that you might have selected, or skip the particular item that's selected. We're going to say purge all checked items. And when it does it, it goes ahead and reads everything, deletes everything that is not physically in the drawing. So all you're left with in your drawing is the actual. Um, information that it requires to build the objects that are physically in there anything that was not inserted as a block for example or not being used as a line style or a text style or any item such as those then would be actually expunged from your drawing making the drawing a lot lighter okay so with that we've come to the end of this particular blog on recover recover with xrefs audit and purge. This is Jim Cuervo for Digital Drafting Systems saying thank you so much for watching. Till the next one, stay safe. Goodbye.